dun 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 na 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 dun dun na 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 dun dun na 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 dun 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 This is the cold open bitches. Oh, this is the cold open. Take it away, Tyler. Cut to the intro music that we now have, which won't sync is up. Is enough to- enough? I saw the pie. <laughs> intro music now. That's not our intro music. We're gonna get copyrighted. Stop! Stop, Tyler. We're- Tyler. Okay, okay, we're cutting. We're cutting. I'm cutting. <laughs> I tried Viagra for the first time. Comes to people who can't cut. No, fuck that. <laughs> That's just sock wardrobe. <laughs> I'm going to shit. Freaking pretentious. <laughs> Not you. Listen up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Justin Ian <laughs> Podcast. Good morning, Vietnam. It's currently 10 a.m. and me, Tyler, Justin, and Ian have... Been here for a long time, and we're ready to get going. Yeah, we needed an hour warm up off the podcast. We ate bagels. Bagels. Mm. Well, I ate, me and Tyler ate bagel. Justin ate a fucking avocado. An avocado. Artisanal and, boy. An avocado and frosted flakes with almond milk. Um, I had an avocado toast with a slight oregano on the side and a poached egg. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> what? Okay, so before we start, um, so there was a, a I, hopefully if I did if I edited this podcast right. At the end of the cold open, you should have heard the Windows air sound, which I think sounds like. Bah! Okay, and I think that's wrong because it sounds like. Ding! Or, or, ding! <laughs> and then Tyler thinks it sounds like. <laughs> so we'll see who sounds the most correct. Tyler's is probably the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it was echoed. <laughs> it's the paperclip guy. <laughs> I don't even think paperclip guy made a noise. Yeah, Isn't his name Clippy? Yeah, I think so. Clippy. Like clipping the mics on a podcast. I'm naming my firstborn kid <laughs> Clippy. No one got that clipping joke except you. Yeah. Um. Let's start. What yeah, are, let's what's start. Our first topic? So what's her? Oh, you said you had the story to tell you. Oh, yeah, guys. I got recognized for the podcast in lecture yesterday. In lecture? Yeah. Wow. From a, from a guy. From a guy you didn't know? No, I know him. Uh, I'm not sure if I should say his name. I mean, he, he if he listens, he'll, he'll know who he's talking about. Yeah, he's. Uh, I talk to him sometimes. We're we're we're. I'd say we're acquaintances ish. Cool. Yeah, uh, some guy in my program, and he's just like he in lecture. He reached behind me. He's like, "Yo," and I'm like, "Yo, what's up?" And he like held out his hand for a dab. And he's like, "Yo," he I'm just a, dabbed me in the end. Yeah, and he's like, "Yo, he's. A, I'm a big fan." I'm like, "Of what?" He's like, "Of you." And I'm like, "What? Do I, what?" <laughs> I'm like, "What do you I'm mean? Like, Had you uh, found yeah. my, did you find my porn account?" <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, "What? My OnlyFans? Are you a fan of my OnlyFans?" And I'm just like, "Oh, of what, bro?" And I was like laughing. I'm like, "That's a weird thing to say." He's like, "No, your podcast." I'm like. Oh shit! You listen. He's like, yeah, man, it's fire. I'm like, oh, I mean, if I mean, it warmed me up, I'm pointing to my chestal area. Yeah. I love when people recognize me for anything. I've had a couple of people recognize me too. They just say uh, I'm a big influence on their lives. And uh, your 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 penis is big, is that what they say? No, no, just I talk really well and <laughs> okay. I get the point yeah, across. I actually come up to you. Yeah, they're like, get the fuck off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyler's a guest on. Uh, uh, okay, so. That's oh, cool. You guys got upset when Anne was a guest. Huh? Oh yeah, no one liked. Oh my no, gosh, no, the amount of people didn't like her. No, no, no. The amount of people like Justin. Why, 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 why did you pick Anne over us? I'm like, okay, this is not okay. It's clearly number Obviously, one. Obviously, because of nepotism. nepotism. Clearly, number one, you didn't listen to the fucking podcast. We explain why Anne's on the podcast. Number two, you didn't listen to the podcast. So, if you want to listen to the podcast, if you want to be on the podcast. Possibly as an assistant, assistant. That goes through me. They're you, HR you managers. To, to, <laughs> is that what we're calling guests now? Assistant, assistants? No, you're le- no like legit. We didn't. We made okay, Anne do you work. Ever come on the podcast? You are doing work. You are doing work. You're, you're not. not just, you're not gonna sit up with us, and then we're gonna, we're not gonna give you a mic. And there were like, plenty of bits when Anne was talking, and we just cut it out. We just couldn't. We just couldn't. Have. <laughs> yeah, but I'm such a. We just couldn't. I'm such a good editor that I cut it out. Anne had a whole hour for herself, and, and we just we, we just cut it out. Yeah, totally cut it out. Life isn't fair. No. If you notice no. the video, sometimes it jumps. 
It's because that's when Anna's talking, so we cut her. Yeah, we're like, sorry, Ann, too much air time. You have a you're minute. an assistant assistant. You have a How minimum you- of three minutes and use four of them. So you can only have a third of Tyler's time. So <laughs> and that's already two minutes. So you're cutting in deep. <laughs> Tyler, you almost done your time up, buddy. Don't, don't, don't be careful. <laughs> the time is running. <laughs> you got to portion it, buddy. All right, so let's get into it. That um, was a little drawl. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just cool. It's, oh, always, yeah. it's always cool getting... It's my first time, really. I mean, all anyone else who mentions the podcast, they're like my, you already my closer know. friends. So I'm yeah. like, okay, whatever. But yeah, first time a, a person who I'm really like super close with hit me up. Interesting. Cool dude. Dang. Yeah, really nice guy. Okay, so... Uh, um. Yeah, so if you if we ever bring you onto the podcast, you will actually not be. Well, you'll have an opportunity to speak, but you're not there to speak. You're there to. We will ask you. You're there. You're there to search stuff up for us, and And then tell us what we ask for to be searched up. And And then occasionally we'll be like, "Oh, what did you think of this?" And also, you will make great clips because usually people who aren't me or Justin are funnier than us. So yeah, they they pull something out that we don't have. I guess because you were doing this for less than a month, real estate. Okay, so. Uh, before we begin our our actual topics, uh, I I think I don't know if you eat, eat muffins, but I like I eating love muffins. muffins. And I always get these store bought muffins, mm-hmm. and I notice that every time I get like you know how it has a wrapper, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I would say about a quarter of the of the muffin is in the wrapper. Yeah, yeah. You never do. You, have you ever gotten a, even few, half... a full clean pull off of a, a muffin? I will. Have, I I eat a lot of muffins. I've gone pretty good at it. Shut the fuck up. Okay, that's, <laughs> I just had a problem because every time I, I've gotten a muffin, like I lost a quarter. I've only eaten 75% of it because 25% of it is in the wrapper and it's all crummy. That's all I have to say about muffins. Uh, <laughs> that's your muffin story? That was my muffin story. I, I, he came in here talking about, I have a muffin story. And I thought it was going to be more interesting. That wasn't a muffin story. That was a muffin observation. Yeah, I guess. It's an observation about muffins. I thought it was going to be more, I'm disappointed. I can't believe this is what I stayed for. I know. I oh, also, sorry. For this. I'm before, never gonna get this time back. <laughs> before we begin, like, if you're not watching the video, uh, me and Ian are very casual as usual. And look at fucking Tyler Taka. We're gonna. I'm just gonna cut to a full screen of Tyler, and so it's just Tyler, my voice. Do a little spin. Step back and do a little. Spin. Yeah, let's let's just do a little fashion review. So Tyler has a big event tonight. Hold, hold up, hold up your hold up your camera. It's a gorilla. It's a gorilla pod. Come on. Come on, yeah. go vlog for us. Sorry, this is gonna be really awkward for the audio listeners. The fifteen mm. of you. So Tyler's wearing a nice checkered blue suit. Move, move it down. Move it down your body. Yeah. There oh you yeah. Go. Just yeah, zoom in on that little belt area. Wait, can I do a walk in? Yeah. Can you do a walk in? Oh my god, you're gonna. Whoa. Wow. He, he's the assistant. Whoa. I've just become an assistant. Hi guys. Welcome to the Just Whoa. Podcast. Whoa. Put it into the camera. Whoa. Whoa. All right. There, look, Tyler Taka. I can't even. How am I shooting? Oh, Tyler, why, why do you always put copyrighted music on our fucking podcast? We can't play it. I have the budget. Oh, we don't have a budget. <laughs> Play Minecraft music. Okay, if we talk, I think if we t- oh my god, Tyler's dancing. I think if we talk over it, our voices will counteract. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, Tyler's be. Oh my god, Tyler just air thrust. Oh, my career's ruined. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So Tyler's future employer is that. <laughs> if anything, cut that. If cut that. Cut that. I'll bleep it. I'll bleep it. I'll bleep it. Yeah, no, just bleep it. I'm gonna bleep Anyone it. Anyone at Tyler's beep. Yeah. Cut it. Come on. <laughs> Cut it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm bleeping it. Okay. If anything, this might get him more jobs. Yeah, because look how handsome. Look at the right ones. I'll go the right ones. Listen, you'll get jobs. Old white men love little Asian boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Tyler looks very dapper and dashing. <clears throat> He's dapper dad. Uh, welcome to thank you, Meek, for help styling him. Whatever. Meek? I don't get the Who's uh, Meek. Meek? From Thor? I just did sword dances. Okay, let's Who's get on to the topics. So a lot of stuff is happening right now as we record this episode. Uh, fashion week in Paris Let's is go. happening, oh. and we will be reviewing some shit for Paris Fashion Week next week. Next week, week. We what the have, fuck? We don't have time. I'm sorry. No, and there's and there's too much shit to go over. Also, all the shows aren't done yet, so Louis shows not is I'm not their Louis show is like I think on now or is gonna happen later on. Trust me, Tyler, it's worth the wait. So okay, so <laughs> but in street fashion, a lot of collabs have been announced. One particular interesting collab is Carhartt X. Awake. awake. If you don't know what Awake is, it's a link. really cool. Oh yeah, it's a really cool uh, New York brand that uh, uh, headed up by the former creative director of Supreme, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Serp Rem. Serp Rem. Yeah. Um, and so. also, Justin pointed out to me that I didn't notice either that it kind of looks similar to, to a, another Supreme Club, an older Supreme Club, fairly recent. Similarly, with another uh, work wear brand, Supreme X Ben Davis, that dropped this last fall. Um, if you don't, if you haven't seen it on Instagram, it's very basic. It's just the uh, colors are the, the thing that catches my eyes about it the most are the colors 
super fire. Yeah, it's the colors. They're the huge ass pockets. I was talking to my friend about it, uh, Matthew. Uh, Matt. But yeah, the pockets are fire. Super huge. The colors pop. I really like the the pink the pink piece in particular. There's a black pink, black and pink piece. Oh, wow, black and pink have been popping. There's a Supreme did a few black and pink pieces last mm-hmm. season. They were pretty good too. Yeah, no, I think it's fire, especially how it's the with the contrast stitch. The yeah, the contrast stitch is super yeah. I like good. the blue and orange one. That blue and orange is tight as well. That's yeah, all the color. colors are pretty solid. They're all out there, and I think they're good. They're pretty like it sticks true to both what the, both Awake their brands, and Carhartt. Yeah. Like, this is, like, if you're, like, New York Street fashion back in the day was, like, dominated by, like, Carhartt and shit. So fire, though. Well, not dominated. It was a big part of it. Like, workwear is a big part of it. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the blue and and brown. Yeah, but, I mean, they have to put in Carhartt brown somewhere. (laughs) Is that a Pantone color? No, 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 no. no. Carhartt brown. Brown, This is a, they patented or trademarked this color of Carhartt. Damn, bro. They really fucked up. Like, if you go on to the website. Oh, here's a little thing about my program. That's called a spot color. Spot colors are colors that are, you know trademarked by things so coca-cola would have a spot color coca-cola red so other companies can't per se you know um emulate it why are you talking like that speaking to the mic uh, he is speaking to the mic his levels are i'm high. not you <laughs> <laughs> um okay yeah, yeah so that's pretty much it's not too cool, much but it's a good good ex- what are the, i'm excited to see what awake is gonna do next season what's the price range coming start. out of these boys do you know nope can we check that tyler can you find out the price range for this boy? Uh, it should be on the article i sent you um wow i don't think they actually i don't know it doesn't say from what i see yeah google it check it out try and find super cool pieces uh yeah yeah. another world similarly streetwear let's just stay on the fashion train trans ishin um uniqlo is collabing with another people on some more disney shit which is unexpected but if you're in streetwear and high fashion and you know ambush who is headed up by the current jewelry designer at dior men's Wow. Miss Miss Yoon. I don't know what her first name is. But it, her, on Instagram, Yoon. Her, it's Yoon. Y O O U Y O O N. Yeah. Like, like, oh, no, I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Good no. thing you stopped yourself this oh. time. Okay, yeah. So Yoon, <laughs> Ambush, I mean, Yoon with Ambush and Uniqlo have worked with Disney to create a capsule collection of clothes. And me and Justin have talked about Uniqlo before, so let's see how we feel about these these new graphics. These are all women's exclusives. Oh, oh fuck. But oh. if you're anorexic like I am, you could definitely fit into them. Or if you're really fat like me, you can probably try to find a really fatter size. Um. So this, this is the first picture, the first lookbook, which is... The graphics are kind of interesting. Like they're I cute. like that. They're very cute. Um. The one with the bow is really cute. That park is that cool. That's a good... That's like Jedi. Yeah, they have Jedi like robes. Jedi robes. That's a cool That's jacket. the Disney. Yeah, these jackets are pretty cool. The, the, oh, look. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, the, a, it's a tee with a, a fat collar, too. It's a collar. Oh, that, that's a really that's interesting cute. playful. So right now, it's a picture it's of a the, Mickey Ma- the Mickey Mouse hands. And Minnie. Minnie and Mickey Mouse's hands connected, and their arms connect to make a heart. Um, That's cute. That's kind of fire. Go back. Oh, yeah, the tag. The, the back tag. The, oh, that's the back tag. Yeah, that's the back tag. Oh, interesting. I like oh, you could buy this trench coat. Is it a trench coat? It's a... Parka, down park, uh, long parka. Mm, that was cool, kind of fire as well. The pink mini shirt. Oh, I don't like it. It's kind of really. Weird. I think right. I like that they're using fat collars and they're experimenting with a cut on this set of t-shirts. They're not just doing the basic. Like, I'm really exper- I really like the designs. It's kind of experimental. This is like um, they have a. We're looking at a pocket key right pocket now. with mini. Very rip and dip esque. So. I'm really feeling that back tag. I don't know. Oh, these pants are actually sick. They're like windy pants. They Ooh, look like windy pants. Windbreaker pants, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they have a boonie cap or a bucket cap, bucket hat. They're okay. Oh, that's, that's kind of tough. That's a shoulder. They, 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 we just found the shoulder bag, which is, if it's a shoulder bag, that's sick. If it's a shoulder bag, yeah. If it's like a real bag, I'm not too sure. Is it a real bag? Because that's a shoulder bag. That's yeah, a what, are they, what are the hands throwing up? Imagine they're gang signs. <laughs> gang signs. Oh, look at that mint. <laughs> they're throwing up gang signs. Oh nice. my god. Mini is, is blood simple. And it, there's another yo, bag. Come on, uniquely. Come on, you can't you can't you can't claim a hood, man. Um I was those are really great, actually. Yeah. Uh hold on. There's a Okay, it's not in this article, but uh when I first found this in this collab on my Instagram, there was another piece that isn't here, right? That wasn't in the col- where is it? Where the fuck is the okay, This one's in- crazy. There's- no no no. There is this really I don't want to spoil it because I want to, I want you to sh- I want you to see it first. Justin's time. actually looking at a blank computer right now. Uh, uh, what, uh, what are you Don't doing? Don't expose me. Oh, I think they... What the, what the fuck? Did it go? No! <laughs> you're crazy. I'm not crazy. 
Dude. No way. What the fuck? You're not even on Instagram right now. This is Twitter. No, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. What? Yeah, Wait, no, I'm no, no, no. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. You're, you're no, no, no. There's something really cool. Uh, fuck. Your uh, hair looks nice today, Tyler. What, what are you. we at for time? Okay, we're good. Working on the weekend like you. Oh, no. Where the fuck is it? No way. I need to let it go, man. I have to move on. No. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Sure it is. It's not going to be it. I'm no. going to open it up and it's not going to. Nah, fuck. It's not here. Okay, I think they, they took it down. But if you saw it... It was a cock ring, okay, guys? <laughs> no, they're... Fuck. Jeff. Bag. No. What the fuck's happening to Justin? I'm sorry, this is real. It looks... <gasps> what the fuck? How is it not there? This oh boy's my... spazzing. Get I know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, next episode when they repost it, I'll, I'll if show they, you. If that was even real. It I'm is convinced real. you imagined it. Is it is real. It's real. I'm not imagining it. I'm not skits. Tyler, Tyler, I think Justin skits so. though. <laughs> this is what this is the clip they sent to the fucking to the ward. This is gonna get you admitted. Yeah. Okay. Oh my Fuck God. it. You're not finding. I'm it. gonna find it. Wait, <laughs> wait, guys. I'm so, I'm we're sorry, sorry. Time. I know, but I have to do this. I <laughs> you have said to find we it. were running time. I know. I know. We, I have to do this. I'm sorry. We had to cut a few things out of the talk list today because just like we're gonna run time. I know, but this is so Look important to me. Okay, I can't. Is, no, fuck it. Okay, he so shit himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So basically, it describe it to us. It's a mini mouse bag. Okay. So it's like a mini mouse plush, but it was a shoulder bag, <laughs> and it was in triple black. Oh! <laughs> so it's a triple black mini mouse plush Plushy. shoulder bag. Yeah. That sounds like some high fashion shit. That's why I wanted to show you I, how big is a plushie. I don't. I don't remember. It was probably like <laughs> hey, an average. Calm down. <laughs> Maybe an average. Jesus. It was maybe an average size plushie. I, I feel assume. like every Korean exchange student would shit themselves over it. Yeah, but I think I think they 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 like they changed their press release because they said it wasn't the 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 mini mouse plush was gonna take longer than the collab. Like the oh. collab was gonna arrive first, and then like a month or a few weeks after, they're gonna drop the bag. Oh. I think it's for production. There you go. So yeah. Okay, back to the last episode that is currently not on Spotify for some reason. I know what the I don't know. Deal so the- in the last episode. Uh, if it's not on Spotify and it just goes from 12 to 14, it's because something happened. Episode 13. This is the fourth episode? 13th episode? 14. 14. 14. Yeah, so the 13th episode is just me and Ian um, at Ian's house and we were talking about the Golden Globes. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was my little tangent. I really wish that I had uh, it. And I'm disappointed you know, buddy, that I can't sound, find it. It sounded cool. It, is so it sick. sounded cool. It was so sick. That was like the best part of the collab. Ian's patting my back That's right now. That's a pat on the back. Uh, All right, let's move into the next... Let it go. <laughs> I am so disappointed. Let's go into the next one. Okay. You can talk about Andrew Kenders. Uh, oh, yeah. So, because Tyler went away, and I kind of want him to stay around for this bit, because I like surprising him with celebrities and Andrew figures Kenders. of the past of, the, of, of our childhood that have now done something kind of weird. Um, so Are we talking about Drake Bell? Yes. We're, we will talk about Drake Bell in a second. I don't know second. what's happening, but... Um, so, if you last okay. episode, we talked about... Or two episodes ago. Two episodes ago, we talked about Bart Baker. Yeah, uh, That Bart, guy Mr. who made a whole bunch of parodies before, you know. Kind of like a raunchier the key of awesome, but uh, yeah, Justin found um something else that's pretty exciting. Apparently, there it is. Oh my god, there, there it is. is. There it is. Okay, I found it. Okay, so sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I I went on the Instagram of you and Ambush, and uh, she posted a video that's with the Unicorn Club, tough. and in the video you see the the Mickey Mouse plush bag. That's kind of hard. There's no pictures of it, but there is. Yeah, I, mean, I couldn't wear it. Not I couldn't make it look natural, but it's tough. Yeah, so. Um, I'll send it to that. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, Drake Bell apparently is doing some sketchy shit. Before you... I said, I'm not a skits. I, I saw it. It's real. Okay. It's okay, Justin. You still have autism. Okay, continue. Ta- <laughs> <laughs> continue. <laughs> Sit down. Put your junk... Fucking Tyler Taka. First you cough and everyone fucking face. You know how many people message me about the oh topic? Oh my god, thing? so <laughs> many people messaged and commented about They're it. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking hate Tyler. He Someone's coughs like, oh on me god, all the time. Someone stop this man from coughing. Who said that? How many people messaged? Four. I Mikey. need to hear these names. It was no. Mikey. <laughs> One of them Mikey was- four times. I know it's Mikey four <laughs> it's times. It's Mikey four times. Mikey on all his accounts. Okay, okay so- sorry. Before I was spazzing out and interrupting everyone. Tyler. Yeah. You remember the show Drake and Josh? I guess we'll do the Drake and Josh. If you open up your mind, it's it's gonna take some time to to the wheel. Okay, you know Drake Bell. Yeah. So apparently he Bart Bakered himself. 
Not, a, not, not in to China? the extent of Bart Baker. <laughs> China again? <laughs> no, he didn't Bart Baker himself fully, but he did almost Bart Baker himself. He he's partially Bart Baker. In, he's beginning to Bart Baker himself. He Bart, has his foot in China. No, it's something else. <laughs> Okay, I like China how has foot I like how him. we're gonna go on my Anna Kendrick bit, but now I guess we'll do the Drake Bell bit. Okay, so everyone knows Drake Bell. Uh, yeah, he hasn't had as much popularity as he did in the two uh, thousands, but he's still around. They like music. I mean, he was popular in the earlier two thousands. You, your phone is on too, huh? You fucks, all you guys with your phones. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Tyler, remember when we went to Josh's party and I got patient using my phone? That, that was, was crazy. Story. Okay, so uh, be funny if you told it. You want me to tell it? I'll yeah. tell it. We can we'll tell, tell it after. Okay, get, after. Let's tell it after this Drake Bell bit. Okay, so what happened to Drake Bell? So Drake Bell is now Drake Campan. Yeah. Did he get married? So if you don't know, I think Campania, Campania is Bell in Spanish. And there's a reason why he changed his name to Bell in Spanish. If He's it is. Spanish now. Uh, he identifies as Spanish. So basically, apparently he... Yeah, it is Bell. So apparently... Why? He exploded in Mexico. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Drake Bell. <laughs> I think he had some like, um, like he had some like me- uh, Spanish lyrics in his latest song or whatever. I'll send you the article. So now he's well, moving to Mexico. No, 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 no. I don't think he's fully going on. He's not fully Bart Bakering himself, but he is. He is committing to becoming Drake. He's a citizen. Campan- this is fake. This is oh. Photoshop. You fucking oh. yeah. Okay, but like, like it's not as bad. Like one's a communist no. state. Yeah, no, yeah, no. One, and the other is a fun place. <laughs> is a fucking a fiesta. So basically, of Drake fun. Bell. Went to okay, hold on. Let me explain the story. <laughs> so Drake Bell, I think he started writing. He had a bit in, Mex- in like Spanish in his song, and then he wanted to like test it out, so he started tweeting in Spanish, and then he went, he he exploded in in, in Mexico. Wow! Like he exploded, he got super popular, and he's like, "Oh fuck, look, fuck these American kids who only remember me for Drake and Josh. All these new Hispanic children in Mexico love me, so I'm wow. gonna go all out like Bar Baker did, and instead of going to China, I'm just gonna. So now he's gonna make some what, some Spanish music? I think. Well, he on his Insta- on his Twitter. He posts a lot of um, tweets in Spanish. Like he almost really? exclusively tweets in Spanish. This is so strange. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is gonna be a great bit we have. Just exploring what child stars, not child. I guess they're child These, stars. We're gonna call this one. We're gonna call this this segment celebrity deserters. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So this episode of Celebrity Deserter, we have Drake Campania. <laughs> Campania. I'm not good at Italian. I'm mean Spanish. Campania. Look, look at that. All his tweets no, are in Spanish. No puedo esperar a que por fin con sin con scar scar Oscar. <laughs> yeah, so this guy just went off. Holy shit, and it he's is. On cameo. And he's on Cameo, too. So you can Guys, get Drake Spa- Bell's just, he's you Spanish see, So you get some Spanish. Um, Drake Bell, Fuego Lento. That's his new song. Yeah, so he I fully bet there's committed. some Spanish listeners, like some people who are of span, of you know, who can speak less Span speak Spanish, <laughs> Spano, El Spano, <laughs> and they're just like, holy fuck, listen to these gringos. You think Drake Bell knows how to, knows how to speak it properly? Mm-mm. I don't know. I'm sure he could. Yeah, probably not. Right? Tyler yeah. gave us a a very big. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was our episode of Celebrity, Celebrity Deserters. Deserters. So we, we have two shows now. We got. Is she a minor mm-hmm. and celebrity deserter? Yeah. Oh, I have a new Is she a minor. What? I have one. Okay. So before we go in, into Is she a minor, let's talk about some films. So recently, um, I watched a, a, a bit. I had a little Anna Kendrick binge. I watched all of Pitch Perfect. I haven't watched a third one. I, I don't think anyone has watched it. I watched it. One. And I it's on par. <clears throat> it's on par with the. You just fucking cough. Shit. Tyler, get the knife. Just no. Kill this dude. No. Please. This is my podcast partially. Oh, shit. Tyler came over. Tyler, no. Tyler crossed Tyler. the line. Tyler. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh. Justin in podcast. <laughs> okay, now that Justin got his punishment. Oh. I can't find the girl I'm looking for, so I guess we're not doing a Shima. All right, today. so no, okay. Oh my god, this is this is our been our most scatterbrained episode recently, but we have so many bits we can all clip them. How exciting! <laughs> Great for Ian, yeah, and Justin. Um, okay, so yeah, so I watched a bunch of Anna Kendrick movies Anders recently. Kenders. So you said number three was as good as the other as, two? No, 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 fuck! It's on par with the second one for different reasons. Oh, yeah. So 
I didn't like the second one. <laughs> the second one wasn't good. The only one I really loved was the first one. First I would watch the, the first one over and over again. But I think if I had to do it, I think I would go first, third, second. But barely. But by barely. <laughs> so first and third and second. So it's like, like first is like a and a solid seven for me. So seven, maybe eight on a good day. Then um the third one is at a solid six. And then the then the the second one is at a solid five and and half, maybe. I lied. I'm gonna, I'll go six and a half for third one, six on second one. Okay. Which irks me, which really hurts me to say. But so yeah, I remember, I think if you dig deep enough on my Instagram, I posted, I gave it a nine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why do you like Anna Kendrick? Why don't you like Anna Kendrick? That is a good, no, why do how about, you like How about we just keep, why just the celebrities that Justin likes in mystery, like Timothy Chalamet, I don't explain why I do, I just do. It and that's, I, that's obvious though, no, but like. And we, we're back. And we're back. Someone got a little embarrassed, we had to cut something <laughs> out, but whatever. Anyways, Anna Kendrick, what's the, what, what's up? She's just a really cool person. Like, <laughs> there are a lot of cool people out there. I know. So like, <laughs> Tyler is so fed up. He has to go to school soon, and he's like, "We're wasting our time talking about Anna Kendrick." Yeah, okay, we'll just. I'll die. <laughs> move it along. Move this kid along. <laughs> wow, this episode really went all over the I think the point is. The Pitch Perfect trilogy is uneven. <laughs> yeah, it is uneven. Mo- like most trilogies. Are. Hey, would you say it's <laughs> off pitch? Okay. Oh my come god. On. <laughs> look at all. Look at these levels. Tyler's like peaking so hard. Oh my gosh, he's gonna. I tried. Oh my god. So I tried fixing the levels for this time, and I think this is gonna fuck me in the ass. Because uh, uh, would you say that the levels are? Stop. Don't do it. <laughs> off pitch. <laughs> <laughs> what is this episode? <gasps> what is happening to this episode? <gasps> Look at all those peaks. It looks like a it looks, like, like it looks it like looks a heart like, like a heart looks, rate. It looks like it looks like it looks like someone's teeth that needs braces. <laughs> oh. Anyways, Into the Woods is also an Anna Kendrick movie. That I, I, I didn't recently. finish it because it's kind of boring. It's kind of shit. It is really bad. You know what? Anna Kendrick, everyone loves her, but she's in a lot of not so great movies. Twilight. She she was in Twilight. That just you just unlocked something. She was in Twilight. She was like Bella's friend, right? Like yeah, the annoying her friend. annoying friend. Yeah. Whoa, how old was she in that movie? Like 18? 17? I don't know. Young, right? Maybe I don't know. Like how young? I don't know. We can Google it probably. Like young. All right, we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this episode? What is ha- what has this episode? Yeah, I'll switch up her age right now. Thank you. So okay, so let's let's I think we can move along from Anna. Yeah, this is her age. She's 23. <laughs> <laughs> oh Tyler right. Bucky. Oh that my god. Bad. That was a good one. Alright, listen. Okay, so <laughs> Okay. So while Ian and Tyler are dying laughing, I'll explain the bit. So, so you had asked Tyler, as you just heard, to <coughs> search up Anna Kendrick's age, and so instantly Tyler searched up his age, searched up an age, and turned it to us. And then he turned, <laughs> he's a twenty-three, and I'm like, wait, pause. And as he fully turned around his computer, it was a picture of Tyler on Google searching up Noah Centineo. <laughs> Noah Centineo. <laughs> this guy. Is- <laughs> oh my. No, since the nail, you're going to find a way into every ep- fucking episode. Okay, so we can keep the fact that Tyler has a mad crush on Noah Santanejo, but we have to cut out your little thingy. Okay, so okay, I'll explain it then. I'll- no, no, cut, 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 cut. You don't have to. Okay. Yo, honestly, every FBI agent's waiting at the doorstep going, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, who's he have? <laughs> no, they're just waiting. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Hold we- on, we can't do it. We've got him. No, wait, no, call it back. We didn't get him. Are you supposed to be an FBI agent? Yeah, it's a cold. We can't go in here. Oh, you didn't. Your voice, your your mock FBI voice, move over. It's so shitty. Okay, so wow, we actually talked for half an hour, but well, it's gonna be the last because I cut all. We're gonna cut all like okay. five minutes. Okay. So what, what's the next bit? Oh wow, we actually went through most of our talking points. Oh my god, Justin. <laughs> what? Noah Centineo was born on May 9th. No fucking way. Way. I. What, what's no May 9th? fucking? What's May He's 9th? number two on May 9th. Is that is that Justin's birthday? Just Justin's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good on birthdays. Oh, 
birthday. I'm very disappointed. Is that your birthday? Don't talk to me. He's number nine ranked for born in Florida. Happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know. No fucking way. No one's saying I was born on May 9th. You know who else was born on May 9th? Billy Joel and Ghostface Killer. Ghostface Killer and Billy Joel the same birthday. Billy Joel. Ghostface Killer. Me and Noah Centineo. I don't know. Ghostface Killer ranks 23rd in all birthdays. And Justin In Dick. all birthdays? In all birthdays in May 9th. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Like, all and birthdays And then ever. Billy Joel ranks... Uh, that was a good one. Um, Roll it. Add it to the clip. Billy Joel isn't here. What? Billy, guys, Billy Joel's never existed. <laughs> oh, okay, so... we. <laughs> Let's just since we're since we're on the topic of birthdays, we're just this is the most scattered episode of the season. We have it's pretty much the funniest though for sure. The funny so we have Noah Centineo at number one according to Google. Then we have Billy Joel, Rosario Dawson. You saw it. Then a bunch of people I don't know. Yeah. So. Okay. Wow. Wow. I think we did we run all of our talk. Oh wait, no, guys, I have a game. No, we we didn't talk about the Oscar stuff. Oh right. Okay. Or do you want to take a break and then we can go to the Oscar stuff? Or we can just keep No, run. we'll just keep going. Just keep okay. Going. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. There will be no sponsors after the second episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, so what were we talking about before? Ander Kenders. No, after that. Before we got to the No Setineo bit that fucking killed. No, it was just Ander Kenders. You were, you were talking about how you watched a whole bunch of Ander Kenders. Oh, yeah, they're fine. And, and I was saying how it's strange how she's loved by everyone, but she's in a lot of shitty movies. Because I think it's her Twitter. Twitter. Oh, is that where she gets love from her Twitter? That's because she's like a quirky yeah, person. She, yeah, her Twitter, her tweets are pretty good. They're pretty funny. Hmm. Okay. So you say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Reading Anna Kendrick tweets. Welcome to the new segment. Oh, sorry, podcast. I lied. Billy Joel's ranked fourth. So who's first? Noah Centineo? No, Collins Key. Collins Key? Yeah, Collins Key. Collins Americans, Americans got talent. He's like a, a, ma- a magician. He's the one that got me into magic. Without Num- Collins Key, I wouldn't be doing card tricks. Number two oh, is Noah it. Centineo. Noah Centineo was second. Well, actually, Collins Key. I haven't heard that name so, in a minute. So Collins Key is also born on May 9th. Yeah. Interesting. Welcome to the new bit of podcast where we discover people born on our birthdays. Ch- Church of January 7th. Oh, are you actually going to do this? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> What what a, what a fun time. Yeah, what a, what what, what, a time. what has what has our podcast become? All right, so January 7th, number 1, Weston Curry. Don't know who the fuck that is. Number 2, Sophia Wilde. Number Sophia 3, Sophia Wilde? Yeah, Wiley, yeah. Wiley, can you Wait, what's her? W Y L I E. And then number 3, oh, January 7th. Blue Ivy Carter. Blue Ivy Carter? So yeah, some notable ones. Nicholas Cage. Hey, oh, you the Cage crack. man. Jeremy Renner. Whoa! Oh, fucking Lauren Cohan. Um, Maggie from Walking yeah. Dead. Oh, this girl. She's been in a few stuff. Mer- she was in a Marriage Story. Merritt Weaver. Yeah, she's. Oh a, yeah, she's she's a sister. sister. Can okay, I search up mine now? Also, fucking this guy from uh, Umbrella Academy. Wow. Oh my, oh, my god, god, an Indian guy. <laughs> the guy from <laughs> CSI Miami. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Dustin Diamond from the from porn? No, Dustin Diamond from um, isn't he in a a, a band? I don't, I don't listen to rock music. All right, guys, oh no, he's Screech. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did Screech go to jail? He did porn. <laughs> Is he directed porn or did porn? <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, do you guys want to hear mine? Yes. Wait. Oh my god. I have the Martinez twins. Martinez twins? One and two. I'm so sorry. The yeah. Martinez twins from TikTok? And then I have Call yeah. Me Carson three. Carson? Yeah. Is he the, wait the YouTuber, yeah. <laughs> Tyler got <laughs> all you. And then I got Marlon Webb. Who the hell is Marlon? Oh Marlon Webb. Webb. The guy that went the guy that goes Watermelon. Malone. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tyler got all the Instagram Tyler's just a meme. Tyler got, got all like, the viners. I have like two respectable people. I have like Bono. Oh. And I have Keenan Thompson. I have oh, Keenan Thompson's Thompson. good. So you got Viners and, and uh Respectable actors. Speaking of Keenan Thompson, you ever watch a show All That on Nickelodeon? No. Loved All That. Anyone watch All That? You know the theme song? Yeah. All that. All that. Oh, oh, oh. You? oh. <laughs> wow. I'm wow. 
We haven't. I'm gone, so tired. We haven't gone this. We haven't had an episode this like out there in a minute. I think I just popped a blood vessel. I'm tired. That was insane. So what's the next oh Oscars? Gosh. Yeah. So. <laughs> fuck. Whoa, we went all over the fucking. Damn, bro! Place. I can't believe I got the fucking Martinez twins. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. That's you. You should. That's basically cancer. I'm sorry. <sighs> Tyler's gonna go into the deep depression now that he found out he's a he's he's a birth, he shares birthdays with the Martinez twins. Ah! Just crying. Ah! Ah! The Martinez twins. Ah! Okay. okay. So welcome to the actual film and film section of the podcast. <laughs> Today, uh, at the time of this recording, the Oscar nominations had just come out. Yep. So we will go over the main, not the most important. Oscar nominations, but the most popular ones. Yes, sir. As usual, we will be more entertaining than the last set of awards and nominations we ran through, because that's what's boring as fuck. Oh, with the, the Golden, Golden Globes? Globes? Which yeah. clearly no one can listen to, because it's not on Spotify. Please, Spotify. That was a pretty good episode. Please. Please give us our, pla- our please, episode on Spotify. We're just boys. All right, okay. so... We'll just go on in order of this article. So we have number... First, our first category... Performance by an actor in a leading role. And the nominees are Antonio Banderas, Leonardo DiCaprio, Adam Driver, Joaquin Phoenix, Jonathan Price. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so of this <laughs> list, I've watched how many, how many films are there? Oh, my God, Tyler. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. I watched three films, Leo, Adam Driver, and Joaquin Phoenix. I don't honestly. I love Leo, but I don't think he's gonna. Win. I definitely don't think Leo should have got nominated. Not even the nomination. No, I don't think so. I think I think Robert Pattinson should have got nominated over him. Oh, for sure. Actually, yeah. Let's, Robert Patties and Willem Dafoe. Okay, we'll get. Well, hold on. Let's see. Let me. Okay, you continue. Got snubbed the fuck up. The light. I'm surprised. I don't like how the lighthouse didn't get enough love from any like any of the awards. Any of the awards it, bodies. It's, maybe it's, I think it was maybe too out there, but like. It was, it was, it, it was, was, it was, it was out. It was like basically absurd theater, man. That shit was mod. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Very, didn't it, very, didn't it very, kind of remind Yeah, you it was very Godot esque. They were, yeah, it was very waiting for Godot esque. Cause that whole line was like, how long have you been on this rock? Yeah. Two days, five weeks. Help, like, help me recall or whatever the fuck the line is. Yeah. Uh, I didn't watch Antonio Banderas in Playing Glory, so I, I don't really want to comment. I, no. But I hear he's great. He's, and I hear the movie's excellent. Fantastic. Jonathan Price and Two Popes, I don't I haven't watched Two Popes. Watched. It didn't entice me. So I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Jonathan Price. You so just really, didn't entice. Realistically, I think the only person you could switch up was Leo and maybe put in Robert Pattinson. Or Willem. No, I wouldn't give... I think Willem would have been supporting for sure. Okay, true. It would, it would have been a better category for him. Even though they were like basically two leads. I, yeah. I want to memorize Willem Dafoe's whole monologue where he yells at <laughs> when Robert he goes, Pattinson. Where he's like, you liked my lobster? No, no, no. Where he goes like, I cast ye yeah. to the depths of the sea. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's right after the whole lobster thing. Yeah, say yeah. you like me, lobster. <laughs> just say you like me, lobster. <laughs> just, please. Just say you like me, lobster. I hate your cook. Damn ye. <laughs> and then it looks so scary. It's, so, it's scary. so scary. It's so terrifying. Okay, so next category. Performance by an actor in a supporting role. The Tom Hanks. Anthony Hopkins, Al Pacino, Joe Pepsi, <laughs> Brad <Pitt>. Armpit, <laughs> Armpit. So let's go. Yes, armpit. I love those people. I love Armpit. Let's go. <laughs> so Tyler's give it to them. Tyler's oh my god, Tyler just doesn't want to be here. Tyler's Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's Tyler. Um. So I didn't. I haven't watched Two Popes, and I haven't watched Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. But I don't know if I love this category. <laughs> this is supposed to be supporting actor. Yeah. And um, it is a tough race. But I feel like, I don't know. It, it's, it's close in that they're all kind of the same-ish. Yeah. And I don't know if uh, any, I don't know how easy, I guess probably Brad Pitt since he, I don't know. I don't think they did the SAG Awards yet, but like, whatever. It's not really interesting. No surprises in here. So, this is just as boring as the Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. The only thing is that I just wish 
I don't know who would get switched out, but someone would get switched out, and I then Wilhelm like, Dafoe was in I there. I feel like I, I would have more to say if I watched more of these movies. Yeah, <laughs> fucking disappointment. Oh, come on, man. Okay, performing actress by a performance by an actress in a leading role. The nominees are Clitoris and Viro, <laughs> Scarlet Bromonson, Spaghetti Roman, Charlie Chaplin, <laughs> Rooney Zugi. <laughs> I think it was just, Rooney Zuki. That sounds like a, that sounds like a cartoon character. It's not even close to her name. Hey guys, I'm Rooney Zuki. <laughs> Welcome to Zuki. Today with Rooney and Zuki. <laughs> with Rooney and Zuki, we're gonna go on an adventure journey. It's just Rooney and Zelwick. <laughs> Okay, for you who know, I read Renee Zellweger as Rudy Zuni. <laughs> Rudy Zuki. Zuki. That's even worse. You guys done the nominee list? Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was actually. Now, the last now we're one. done. All right, Tyler, let's 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 step it up. Let's go! <laughs> yes! 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 He should have been nominated. Yes! yes! Come on! Oh, let's Tyler go. just showed us a picture of Noah Centineo in, in the bed. With, with no shirt, with no shirt on. on. He looks. Oh my his, God. Why do his pecs look so flat? He has like no. He has like. Why does he have abs and like like like? Why? His, why does? Why is his pecs like? His like, pecs are <laughs> uneven. Did you see that? They look deflated. <laughs> yeah, they do look deflated. What the hell's wrong with him? Yo, no, Santana was actually a godsend. My laugh up went from thirty percent to thirty-one percent. <laughs> oh, this image is giving me power. <laughs> oh my God. guys, Sean Boy, stay winning. Never forget. How long? How long are we? Well, we have like 10 more minutes left. Okay, let's just finish out these Oscar shits. So, uh, for the... Are you kidding me, Ian? Why do you... Why? Oh, my God. The most unprofessional episode of season two. Sorry. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Okay, so I think for the actresses, I think they're all pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say. Um, yeah, I have... The only film I have... Again, I have only watched three of the films, so I don't know to speak on Renee Zellweger and Cynthia Over's performances, but I assume they're great. Because I, I think they basically like carried those movies because those movies are the only like awards buzz that surrounding these movies are their performances. So I assume that they are really good in them. If anyone could have been s- slotted in there, snubbed, let's check this article. I guess, yeah, I think Lupita Nyong'o was. For us? She was, that was a great, I think, yeah. I think it, it, if, it was, if it was anyone, it was... Lupita Nyong'o, who could have been with this group, because that was crazy. She had to be two different people. Yeah, technically the same. Very people, different, but two very differently. She was very creepy. As that was really red. scary. Red and I am red. <laughs> just looking. Ew! What the hell's wrong with you? I think you need a halls. <laughs> Someone get her halls. <laughs> her fucking voice is fucked. Um. Okay. No surprise there. Okay. Performance by an actress in a supporting role. Nominees are Kathy Bates, Master Bates, <laughs> Laura Dern, Denim, Scarlett Johansson again, Skurgy Jokers, <laughs> Florence Pugh, Fluorescent Pube, <laughs> and Margot Robbie. I'm not going to disrespect her. Wow. Okay, so maggot. I think all the. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe someone... J-Lo was a, a big name that kept circling around, and I haven't watched Hustlers, but similarly like... I thought you did. No, I didn't. Oh. Like um, everyone else, like Judy and Incinsia Ervo, apparently she's the best part of it, so... Oh, Rooney Zugi and... <laughs> and uh... I don't know what you said for Cincinnati Ervo. But yeah, so... No surprises, but I'm very... I'm fine with it. I'm very fine with it. Okay. Uh, we'll skip animated because I didn't watch any cinematography. It's gonna probably be Roger Deakins, but I'm glad the Lighthouse got a nom. Yes, let's go, jo- Tyler. Go, come on, say let's go. Let's go, let's- come on. Okay, Thank so you, Tyler. We got. We're almost done. I think we're just gonna do best picture and uh, directing. Come on, you want to skip over hairstylist? I don't know anything about hairstylist. Okay, so directing, we got. Ooh. We got for the Irishman. Irishman. No, can you say the director? I'll say the movie and you say the director. I don't know who directed the, the things right there. Oh, okay, okay. Go for it. So we got the Irishman. Martian. 
Right, can you do the full thing? Okay. It's more funny. If you okay, do sure, sure, sure. I'm just checking the time. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. For the Irishman. We got Martian Scoozger. Uh, for Joker, we have Todd. <laughs> we got Todd Packer. For 1917, we got Sean Mendes. <laughs> Once upon a time in Hollywood. Quesadilla, Toronto. And for Parasite. <laughs> Bing Bong Jing John. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Ian is dying. I don't know why you think it's so. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. We're going to have so many clips for this episode. Holy. Yeah. This episode should really just be called. Um, yeah, just give it a clip. <laughs> when your content is dry and you don't have anything else to say, I'm not even saying this is dry. It's probably some of the funny. Not dry. I mean, when when we don't have any cohesion, but we have a lot of bits. We're gonna probably post like this episode is gonna be like every most clips. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. All right. So, um, holy shit! No surprise there. Everyone had a big film. Uh, I I heard a lot of talk about how oh Miss Greta Gerwig should have been nominated and Miss Lulu Wang. For the farewell, should have also been nominated. I will give him my farewell. I will give a review to, of the farewell to close out the podcast, so we have some extra content to post. But yeah, so this director's race is pretty tough. They are. They all had to do something that kind of no one else has done Let's before. Be it's going to be Sean Mendes, right? Yeah, it's probably going to be Sam Mendes because one shot Come movies. On. Yeah, amazing. I would be very happy if Mr. Bong Joon Ho took it home. Oh, Banjo, if Banjo took it home. <laughs> if Banjo Kazooie took it home. I still haven't watched Parasite, but I really I want to. What I a disappointment to. to the film community. I am. I really am. Ian, you have a film podcast and you don't watch any films. How do you feel? <laughs> I will only watch a film if it is if Justin drags me. <laughs> Which is very sad. Very. So yeah. But I do have opinions. And when I do watch a movie, I have big opinions. So those are the things. And uh, we, yeah. Ian wanted to pull up the snub, the snub article. I, I, I think it's fine. And I think this I, I after think our, our discussion, I think the, I think we kind of covered a little. We, bit. Like the snubs are like uncut gems. Was, I thought you would have mentioned about oops, Adam I, Sanders. It was a tight race. Bernie Sanders. But I definitely don't think <laughs> Adam Sanders. Could, even a Nami. If if well if Robert Pattinson didn't get anything, then I don't think Adam Sandler should have got it. Fair enough. That was like my 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 tier. That's fair. All right, so. That's our Oscars. Check in with us three weeks later when um, the actual Oscars happen and if we'll be surprised or not with the nominations or the winners, which I bet we won't be. Nope. Not at all. So we won't cast our bets now, but... I don't call myself a betting I, I used to... I remember in high school, I used to always like track who won on yeah. my story. Now Justin I, used, to be a, used to do a big celebration on Instagram. Now I don't care. Now he doesn't care. It's kind of boring. All right. Tyler's back. Welcome back, Tyler. So, Ian, do you want to do your game before we close? Sure. Actually, let me... Okay. Okay, get your game ready. So, I'll just talk about the... So, I watched the Pharrell two days ago. The Pharrell? The Pharrell. I watched the Pharrell with Lulu Wang starring Aquafina. That's the real name. Yeah, yeah. It is her real name. We weren't even doing anything. Funny. Yeah, so Aquafina. And uh, it was very, very beautiful film. The directing was amazing. Maybe... Like, I think if someone could have... A sliver the oh what oh yo okay hold on before I go on the the review for the farewell we forgot to talk about best picture arguably one of the most important or the most talked about awards of the night and I think I lost my game and disappeared what was your game okay hold on uh best picture where's best picture before we before we go or before I give my review I will give the best picture but I'm sure it is not a surprise to anyone what the best picture um things are. So we got Ford vs. Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Marriage Story, Parasite, and 1917. And I think of those nine films, I don't think Ford vs. Ferrari should be there. I'm placing my bet right now. I think it's either going to be 1917. Not a surprise. Or Parasite. Not a surprise either. 
But those I, are my two bets. I think Parasite <sighs> is definitely going to win international uh, film. Oh, for sure. But I just hope Parasite like takes home like both. Yeah, that'd be crazy if Parasite sweeps. Holy. I think it's that good. Yeah, it is that good, and I think it's great that a, an international film actually made it into the best picture list. I think so as well. But yes, yeah, so all those films are pretty great. If I, I again, I would switch forward to Safari with maybe the Lighthouse or something else, but everything else I, I kind of understand, and it's not a surprise. But I'm very happy Jojo Rabbit and Low Women got in there. I think those were like kind of the two films that I was like, oh, hopefully they get in, maybe they won't. But they did, so we're happy about that. Ha! Okay. So, closing out the podcast. Ian, do you have your game? Yep, found it. Okay. So, for my for, for my review on the farewell, we will save it for next episode because I don't want we're running out of time. Okay, let's. I found a Twitter article called "Dating Terms You Should Know in 2020." So let's. I want to give you guys a word, and you guys should <laughs> tell me the definition. Okay. Okay. First word: cause playing, not cosplay, like dressing up with your titties out. Cause playing, like be cause, cause playing. What do you think that means? Cause playing, Cla- cause playing. Oh, cause playing, like cause, like, like because, like cause, because like causing play. something. Okay, I don't know what, like you're making someone feel bad about something they did. Okay, that's what you think it means. Yeah, what do you think it means? I think it's still what Justin said. It means when a former date contacts you well after the fact to ask you for an unrelated favor. So, like, let's say you go on a date and then just one's like, hey, you remember me? Can you uh, set me up with your hot friend? Oh. That's oh. cosplaying. You're playing her for, for... How do you spell it? Cause. like Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's, okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, next How about flea bagging? Flea bagging? <laughs> what do you think flea bagging means? I bet it's based off the show Fleabag, and I know in the show... I. From what I know of Fleabag, something really fucked up happens. Okay, so what do you think it... It's like, I don't know, it's like fucking your brother or something. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that took such you a big turn. Flea bagging means fucking your brother? No! no. <laughs> like fucking your significant other's like, brother or something. What are you doing, step bro? I'm about no. to flea bag the shit out of you. No! Like, you, you do something with your significant other sibling. <laughs> Ew. I don't know. I wish it meant that. Okay, Tyler. Do you have just, any? Yeah, Tyler. What do you mean? What do you think flea bagging means? I hope you don't mean. Hope you think I don't it hope means you don't figure it out. Sibling. I, don't I think how. it means like a. I thought it meant like a dirty bed. How <laughs> no, wholesome! You, you do Justin's flea bagging on a flea bed. <laughs> how wholesome! Flea bagging is constantly dating the wrong person. Is that what happens in the show Flea Bag? I don't know why it's even called flea bagging. I want to watch flea bag. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Okay, as you continue the game, I'm gonna search. Uh, this is pretty fun. Possible spoilers for flea bag. If I hey find Tyler, hmm. what do you think glam boozled me? Okay, I'm done this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> this is too much. I can't with you. It's too much. Okay, what do you think glam boozled me? Glam boozled. Yeah. Um, glam boozled. Is that is that when you like dress up? so good that they're like whoa what the fuck I'm that glam yeah it's like it's like a shock and awe kind of thing no it's when you're all done up with nothing to do because your date got can't oh so it's just, be, so so it's it's like just like being so you get ready and then someone cancels last minute you're like this article it's um, on twitter daily blast live wow oh, yes I've never heard this term ever. i know me neither that's why i thought it was so funny like no kid is saying oh what's wrong sarah Oh, I just got flea bag. I keep flea bagging myself. Oh, Sarah, no. of course. isn't that last guy like totally glamboozle you? N- yes, I was glamboozled for every fucking date. Oh, man. Like, does that that sounds? No, these, no these one's sound talking. Made, like sound made it up. It sounds like. It well, sounds I mean, like, they, like, they are made up. Well, but, like, words made, made up, up just for the article. It sounds like something like like a millennial would try to sound cool. It's like, yeah, man, I put the pussy on, on the chain wax. <laughs> What's that mean? You know, man, you just, you just put, put the, the pussy, pussy on the, the chain wax. wax. You guys don't know what that is. It's a bit from Key and Peele. Check it out. It's funny. All right, let me just get you this last one. Let me try to find a funny one. Yeah, I don't know what happened this week, but I don't remember. Okay, I, heard, I, I heard there was a big tragedy. That's why she talks to camera. I don't know. I, do I think, don't know. I watched one video about it. That was a long time why ago. Why do you think yellow? What do you think yellow carding is, guys? Is it to do with being Asian? I don't know. You tell me. It's when you yellow card. I, this could be a sport reference. I think it's a sport reference. Okay. So when you go a little too far and it's like a second chance. 
It's like a warning. Okay. Yeah, you're you're kind of close. Oh fuck, I was gonna guess that too. What is Tyler, that? no one heard you. you Tyler, know that, you right? can't. <laughs> How the fuck do you Tyler, expect? Tyler, no one heard you. So right now, Tyler's laying down in his in his booth. Come on, bring the camera. I'm just gonna bring bring, bring the mic down. down with you. Are you gonna bring the camera too? Yeah, bring the camera down with you. Get, 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 get. All right, guys, we're just gonna cut to a POV. How it is to sleep with Tyler. <laughs> Okay, there's gonna oh, be a lot of editing for this episode. You know what? That's it. Let's just end it on that. You know what, guys? Thank you oh my for gosh. watching. Well, if they keep it in, it, if I don't keep it in, then they're like, what the fuck was we happening? We gotta have a discussion. <laughs> we gotta have a discussion. I will cut out the bits. Okay, we'll figure it out. I but, uh, really hope we keep it in. <laughs> oh, the amount of bits we're like, oh. But they were so. I think they're only funny to us. I don't know if they're funny to anyone else. No, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. I have a headache. Oh, oh yeah. I, have a, I woke up with a headache too. No, no, this gave me a headache. Oh. Laughing hard gave me a headache. Wow. Close it out, boys. All right, guys. Tyler has to go. He has to, he, he's playing the music on us, like on the Oscars. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. This is episode 14. Yeah, season two, two. episode four. Thanks for watching, guys. What an episode this was. Let's well, see how much, let's see how much we're actually going to keep in. I hope we keep okay, in. Okay, we're getting played out. Yeah. Okay, All bye. Right, guys.